smooth e conversations where I, Jamel, and my beautiful mother, Mary, have some fun, candid conversations. So I know it's been a little bit of time, but I'm so excited about today's smoothie. So tell me what you made for us, please. Okay, Jamel, this time I made what I am calling a tropical smoothie. Okay. So what I have in the smoothie for this time, I have oh some uh, pineapple, mm. I have a mango, I have a kiwi, and this time I put some kale in my mm. smoothie. Typically, I put uh, spinach, but this time we're going to go with the uh, kale, and I put kale in. And then also protein powder. Okay. And then, of course, the, the crushed ice and the water and the cinnamon and the ginger. So I mm. think this is all I have in this particular tropical smoothie. And it tastes so tropical. That's the best word to describe it. I love the ginger. It's, it's so mm. subtle, but I can still taste it. And the mangoes, oh my gosh. They're strong, but in a positive, like, it's, it's delicious. I love it. Mm. Wow. And mm -hmm. again, we have our fruit. Mm -hmm. We have our, did I say protein We powder? have protein powder, yeah, so protein we have our protein. protein. And then we have our vegetable Absolutely. as well. So the kale. Oh, this is delicious. A nice, cool, refreshing, uh, tropical smoothie. I love it. I love it. You know, I was talking to my daughter-in-law on the phone the other day. And she had just recently just gotten off from work and she was tired and she was kind of going through the list of everything she was going to try to get done before giving the girls a bath. And I said, oh, gosh, I remember those days. I remember those days. It's kind of tough, you know, balancing, working full time, being a parent and also a spouse, potentially, you know, all these different things. Can we talk about that a little bit today? Maybe this whole idea of like, how do you balance between your family life and being a parent and working? Is that something you want to discuss? Yes. Okay, yes. let's go for it. Let's go for it. I know that you are not only knowledgeable from your own experience, but you've written a book about balancing parenting and work, and you also have done some training. So I'm, I'm going to really... Pick your brain. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then share some of those ideas that I learned from you today with, with my daughter-in-law. So talk to us about what are the key things that you should do and consider as a, even if you're not even working full-time, it, it just balancing between, you know, I have this responsibility that, should, of course, my priority as a mother or as a working parent, and then also my work life. How do you how do you balance? Okay, if you would ask uh, parents today, uh, is there a balance or, or or can we balance or how to balance? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, for many, uh, they probably say, "Oh no, this 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 can't be." Mm -hmm. And it is. I mean, it's difficult. You know, it is hard. But thinking back, mm -hmm. you know, to when you were younger and when my children, the rest yes. of them, were younger, <laughs> really, what helped me was to really just get organized okay you know to have some some organization in my life and you just feel better when things are organized or when things are not uh when things are in place so really just having some organization having some routines okay so for example you used to have chore charts right so is that kind of an example of the organization piece organization uh even you know for for the children Absolutely. you know having them to have an organization chart and and especially in the morning mm -hmm. getting ready for school you know to check off do i have my backpack do i have my folders do i have my homework do i have this mm -hmm. do i have that uh and then just having um you know just the the structure uh, in place is really, really, really helpful. So I guess, again, I guess what I'm saying, you know, whatever you can do to, uh, you know, organize, that will definitely help to, you know, balance, you know, with the parenting yes. and uh, with with the work and all. Um, you know, organize your your day, organize your your meals. You know, have a a plan or have a calendar. Uh, even have it posted. You know, on the refrigerator, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, this also helps to get uh, organized uh, and planning. 
That's good. You said have a routine mm -hmm. and have um, like a set schedule. What do you do or how do you handle the changes that are going to obviously come up with the routine changes and the schedule changes? Um, how do you get your, your children, especially when they're younger, acclimated to, you know, things are going to potentially change. This is the norm. However, sometimes things may not go that exactly. way. Exactly. And so, you know, we have to be flexible. We okay. have to have that, that flexibility. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, it's still good if you could have a certain time of, uh, to uh, get ready for bed or a certain time for bedtime mm -hmm. uh, you know certain time for certain activities you know especially when your children are younger and it just it helps them to get into that routine and structure and uh, will help you know minimize you know some of the chaos the yes. chaos in your life so what do you suggest for a working parent who feels as though whoever they're working for, if they have a maybe a supervisor at work who is not understanding, you know, sometimes you may have to leave work early to take a child to an appointment or, you know, you need to always have your phone close by just in case. Mm -hmm. What if you're in a situation, thankfully I've never been in that situation personally, but what if you're in a situation where you have a supervisor or you're in a working position where you can't, have any flexibility what suggestions do you offer for that um that well, working plan? i always say to have a plan a have a plan b and sometimes you may have to have a plan c oh, that's true you know a backup uh a backup for the backup uh, you know and having a, <laughs> having a support system yes you know to build that support system uh you know to you know have someone that uh, you can depend on or someone that uh, will be available to uh, fill in or to assist will also be very, very helpful. But then also having that uh, communication, that conversation with the powers. Uh, powers that be with right. your job. Right. And uh, just, uh, you know, let them know, you know, maybe what some of your uh, needs may be, some okay. of your concerns uh, as a parent, you know, as a working parent. Because you really do need to have, if you cannot have that flexibility, again, you just need to have that support, you know, that, that backup. That's good, that's good. So as far as some practical things, you talked about having an organizer of some sort, a planner, writing everything down, maybe having a command center, potentially on the refrigerator or a cork board, even when you first enter into the home that has important notes and dates listed. Uh, you also mentioned a chore chart and letting the children be a part of that chore chart, checking off, marking off, mm -hmm. so that they are a part of that whole experience. Uh, what about um, laying out clothes the night before? I know you mentioned that. Right. That's something we did growing up. Right. Again, that's a part of, of organization, Absolutely. you know, planning ahead, you know, thinking ahead, you know, planning yes. the week ahead. And then also delegate. Yes. And, uh, you know, begin doing that early as far as mm -hmm. delegating different roles, different responsibilities, different tasks, you know, for, yes. you know, everyone, you know, to do in the household. That's good. That's good. I remember the days when one of my kids would, everything looked like it was going great. Everybody was ready for bed and homework was done and ready for, you know, the next day. Oh, by the way, I need 50 cupcakes for class tomorrow and it's mm -hmm. eight o'clock at night and just the frantic, oh my goodness, mm -hmm. kind of, what are we going to do about that? We got to figure that out at the last minute, but you're right. As far as having things structured is important. Right. As organized as possible. And also I can remember those days you <laughs> were getting ready to leave. Someone can't find the book bag. Right. Somebody can't get a missing the, shoe. One a missing shoe. shoe. One shoe. Just one, one shoe. shoe. Yes. And all. Uh, um, <laughs> So anything that we can do to, to plan ahead, to organize, to, you know, have some kind of routine, some kind of structure, uh, you know, to delegate, you know, to have a schedule. I think that all of that will help, yes. you know, to, to minimize and help with the balance in the parenting and work. Mommy, I'm so sorry. I normally don't answer my phone calls when we're having these conversations because I like it to just to be about us. But look, of course, of all people, my sister asking what we're doing. <laughs> Should I invite her over? What do you think? Oh, that's fine. Okay. That's fine. I think I'll invite okay. her. Okay. She's 
been asking about smoothies and when can she be a part of all of this. So I think I'll send her an invite. Okay. So maybe we'll pause this conversation. Okay. Let her make her way over here. Maybe we'll let her have some of our smoothie and then we will she can continue. probably continue with this conversation with us. Okay. 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 That sounds good. In the meantime, we want to make sure we remind everyone that we want you to please share the videos with a friend. You know, ask them to also subscribe, hit that thumbs up like button, and send us a comment in the like under the comment section. Tell us something and we'll respond to you. And we'll see you soon on Smooth Me Conversations.